Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Thursday, sending you all so much love and healing energy right now. Now, I do feel today physically you're going through a burning mouth syndrome or you're going through issues within the mouth. Now, I'm not talking about tooth pain. Okay, there may be tooth pain there because that's connected with decisions, but I'm talking more about issues in the mouth itself. So you may have a sore throat, you may have a burning tongue, you may have ulcers or, you know, sores in the mouth that you can't explain. They've just kind of come on overnight. You may be feeling your mouth is on fire. And I feel this is connected with a lot of forgiveness around things you may have said or things you may have done in the past. So, you know, when we say angry words or we have an argument or we say things that are bitter, sometimes we say things before we think and we regret them. We say things we don't mean sometimes because we're hurting ourselves, hurt people, hurt people. And then we have to deal with the consequences of those actions and words. So I feel, you know, you're bringing things up to the surface for healing because we're going through a trauma release. Now, I've been talking very powerfully about this, you know, over this week as well, about releasing. It really came in this time last week. You know, the releasing things coming up to the surface. So if you find you're dealing with this burning mouth, you're not sure what's going on. It can be scary because you're thinking, why am I experiencing this? It's because things are coming up to the surface for healing. So I feel you may be facing things that you've done. Okay, and you've been asked to forgive yourself, to forgive yourself. You know, if you've said nasty things to your divine feminine or if you've said something awful to your karmic partner or, you know, if you've had a row with your boss or a friend or a family member forgive yourself, forgive yourself now, let go of any guilt, because the energy I'm picking up on is burning mouth, now this deck is my twin flames ascension oracle, and we're all going through physical things right now, and you know, I keep talking about these things very powerfully, because I know we're all going through it, you know, because even though we're spiritual beings, we are living in a human body, in a human, you know, vessel, and that vessel sometimes will experience things, because we go through things, when we go through things in the mind, it takes its toll on the body. And right now, things are coming up to the surface in the body to be faced and healed. Just like in the connection, things are coming up to the surface to be faced and healed. It's the same way. So that we can uncover the truth and bring everything out into the open to move forward, whether it's into reunion or union or bring things out into the open with people in our lives or you know, oh, I just feel that sense of relief that we've managed to be free and authentic and honest with ourselves and others about what's going on. And that's where we are. So this deck, Twin Flame Ascension Oracle, this is my deck. If you are going through anything today, maybe you're thinking, well, I'm having this happening to me or that happening to me. And you want to know what's going on. If you go to my playlist, Deck Walkthroughs, I've done the full deck walkthrough of this deck. And it talks about every single thing you go through and why. But the angels are guiding me to talk about burning mouth today because this is connected with arguments, conflict with others and angry words. And I feel these are things that may have happened recently or in the past that you are now facing divine mask and having to heal or face the consequences of. And obviously you want to reach out to your divine feminine. So this may mean an apology apologizing for the argument or the conflict or the angry words or the nasty things you may have said and your feminine does understand why you've said those things okay it may have hurt may have stung a little bit but when we look at it from a higher way we realize that we hurt people because we're hurting ourselves so when we hurt inside we can lash out and say things we don't mean and you know denial can do that too and it can hurt but it's also hurting the self. So this is really about you needing to forgive. And the whole trauma release we're going through right now is all about forgiveness. You know, the angels are very clear about that. It's about forgiving of the self, forgiving of others, forgiving of the situation. But self-forgiveness is really the key. It says, take a moment to cool down and breathe before interacting with others. So, you know, if you're feeling all this burning energy today, start with forgiving the self and say, I'm sorry you know, to yourself, I'm sorry I behave that way, that isn't who I am, and I know that, you know, you're a good person, and sometimes when you act the way you do and say things you do, you can feel like a bad person, and then you can judge yourself, you can worry about being judged by others, you know, and you can feel pretty bad about what you've done, 
So forgive yourself right now. The angels understand your feminine has forgiven you or will forgive you because you were learning and growing. It's all for growth and healing and you were hurting yourself. You know, you were hurting inside yourself. So release that. And they're giving me again this arm pain, shoulder pain, because this is connected with feeling stuck, feeling like you aren't good enough, feeling like you're not worthy of these things, feeling like you don't deserve another chance with your feminine. So it keeps you stuck where you are. But your feminine loves you and will forgive you and probably already has forgiven you because there's nothing really to forgive. It's about understanding. It's all about growth and learning and lessons and unconditional love. And that's what matters more. That's why we stick around. That's why, because the love matters more. It's powerful. And when you're in uni, you know, you'll still have little silly things that come up, but you get through them much quicker. You know, me and George will have like a five minute row about something and then we both either start laughing or we start meowing each other or we do something to just lighten the air. And, you know, those arguments don't stick, whereas before union, arguments stuck. You know, well, it took days or days to, or even months, years and some scenarios in the past, you know, for me to resolve things with people. With me and George, we don't have that. It comes up quickly and it's gone as quick as it comes. So it's because you learn how to deal with it pre-union. So this is why all these things are happening right now. So if you're going through any burning mouth today, ulcers, worry, things going on, you're thinking, what is going on? Or you, your throat's sore. It's because of things that need to come up for healing. You know, speaking words of love is like a healing elixir. It's like drinking water when you've got, you know, a burning mouth and it, it soothes you. It's soothing energy. So use soothing words to yourself and to your twin to bring in a healing so the cards i'm going to use today i'm using cartman c so this is reading playing cards a bit like tarot so i'm using cartman c so can we have an energy please angels for the divine masculines today okay every now and again i like to do this because it's something a bit different okay they're giving me, you know how my hands just kind of slip then? You might feel like your feminine slipping away today. You might feel like things are slipping away from you. You know, you may be worrying about that a little bit as well. So the energy we've got coming up then, we've got the Queen of Spades. And, you know, the Queen of Spades is kind of when I'm connecting with Cartman. See, everyone reads it differently. The Queen of Swords. So you're saying to your feminine today, you are so strong. You are the strongest person I've ever known. You are my inspiration, my muse. So I feel you're looking at your feminine today, you know, as a guide. And you always look at your feminine as a guide. You know, your feminine's light leads you. Feminine's a lead as feminine's lead the way. But you're kind of looking at your own self and saying, if you can do this, I can do this. I can be strong like you. I can change my life like you. You know, I want to be resilient in that way too. So I feel this is you stepping into your power and also experiencing your own feminine energy. You know, this is why you may feel that you're more sensitive to things right now. You know, you may be allowing yourself to feel all these emotions more and wanting to resolve things and wanting to bring things out into the open and clear the air. Because look at this, you're manifesting the future. You right now are manifesting your future. That's why it's so important that you bring in this healing and focus on what you do want instead of what you don't want because you're manifesting your future. And we've got the, the number 27. And what I'm really feeling with this as well is the long-term future. You're manifesting your long-term future. You're not just thinking about tomorrow or next week or next year. You're thinking about where you want to be in a year, two, three, four, five years from now. You know, I'm seeing this as the energy of between now 2023 and the energy of 2027, four, five, six, seven, that's four years away. So you're thinking about what you want in the long term future. So this is another message for you saying to your family, we are long term. This isn't just a fleeting moment. We are long term. We are manifesting a long term future. So you're putting all the plans in place right now and all the you know, found, you're building all the solid foundations for long-term future. And that's why you're also taking your time. So you're saying to your family, thank you for being strong and resilient and bearing with me as I set the foundation for our long-term future. 
So this is long-term plans, long-term thinking, opening your eyes. You know, in this card, you know, which is a very masculine card, if you look at it there too, both of his eyes are open. So he's got his eyes open, he's looking at things clearly. So this is you, Divine Masculine, facing your truth and knowing where you're going and what to do. You're not, you know, hiding, you're not closing your eyes, you're not hiding anymore. And if you are closing your eyes, it's just to visualize and plan and process. But this is you looking very honestly at your life and knowing what you need to change and knowing that you are strong enough to deal with it and, and you can. And also that you and your divine feminine are mirrors of each other. So you're mirroring each other's energy, you're feeling what each other's feeling and you're missing each other right now. You know, when I'm looking at the expression on a face, it's miserable. So, you know, things have been pretty miserable for you and things are getting better because you're standing up for who you believe in. It's like, you know, you're tipping the scales, you're changing things and you're going through a rebirth. You know, when I'm looking at this picture as well, I'm kind of seeing alien energy. So this is also about you knowing that you're here on earth but you're not from earth you know you know that you have you're a bit of an alien you know they give me that song um by sting you know i'm an alien i'm a legal alien um and you you're you know, it's really hard sometimes to try and think about a song or think about a show or you know they give me but to actually go from channeling the message to that thing itself could be quite hard but that's what they're giving me and it's like you want, you're ready for this fresh start, you know, and you feel like, I mean, these feelings you have for your feminine seem, feel alien to you because you've never experienced them before, you know, the way that your feminine makes you feel is very alien to you, you know, because it's different, so your feminine has made you feel things you've never felt and experienced things you've never experienced, so it's also all brand new to you, so you're saying to your feminine, thank you for bearing with me, this is all brand new to me, it's all new, I have to find my feet, find my bearings and I'm going to share that song because I feel that it needs to be out there for someone, you know, because that's really what you're going through right now, you know, you're finding yourself again and you're being reborn and this is about you becoming your true authentic self and stepping into your power between now and 2027, it's very powerful, so you're manifesting things for the long term that you're going to be enjoying and loving and you know your life's going to be so much more improved an improved version of what you're living right now so remember who you are stand strong and forgive yourself for anything you've said or anything you've done or any conflict or any arguments or any pain that you may have had a part in causing because remember it's not just about you you know there's always two sides to every story but this is about you forgiving yourself for the things you've done and healing yourself I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.